So today we're going to talk a little bit about how you can get your Core AI project to finish running when you're using Grok. I know one of the problems that people have been having when they're using the Grok LLMs is that even though it's free because of the rate limit, it ends up crashing and thus it doesn't finish the job that you set it to do. Now I'm going to walk you through what I did in order to resolve this issue. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about why I think this fixed it. Again, I'm not by any means an expert on this material. I'm going to talk a little bit about what I did to fix it, as well as the things you need to keep in mind as you move forward with your project projects so that you don't have this problem later on with other projects that you end up building. So let's go ahead and get started. So Grok has been taking the air world by storm, not only because they're providing all these great LLM models, but also because they're doing it for free. Of course, like anything that is free, there is a caveat with that, it being that there's rate limits on the amount of requests that you can make with their API key. And as you can see here, for all the models that they offer, they're all capped at 30 requests per minute, basically. But it's not the only thing to keep in mind. They also limit, depending on the model that you're using, they're also gonna limit the number of tokens per minute that can be used up and another way to look at this is that the more words that have to be processed within your request the quicker that you're going to be using up these tokens so now let's go through how we can try to manage this with crew ai within our project now if you look at crew ai's documentation in the agent attribute section you're going to see a couple of interesting attributes that you, that you can edit and manage within your code this being max iteration and max rpm so as we read here, max iteration means the maximum number of iterations the agent can perform before being forced to give its best answer. And if you don't set this explicitly, it's going to default to 25. Now the second one is going to be max request per minute. And again, just to be clear on it, it means the maximum number of requests per minute that the agent can perform to avoid rate limits. It's optional and can be left unspecified with default to none. Now, max iterations mainly refers to the number of times that an agent can attempt to resolve a task. Because remember, each task requires a crew AI agent in order to resolve it. And given the complexity of the task, an agent might iterate over it multiple times, maybe to break it down into simpler steps or maybe to provide a better solution. What ended up working for me was after testing it between max durations of 10 and 15, you usually did the job in order to get the program to finish running without crashing. If you're still having issues of trying different settings with max durations, the way we can try out is max request per minute right here. The way you write that out is just max underscore RPM and then set the number on there. Now, this is originally what I tried, but I noticed that it still kept crashing sometimes despite the rate limit. And I think that even though you're saying a time limit within Crew AI, that timer starts counting from the first request. That is, if you start your first request within Crew AI at let's say 501, you'll be able to start your second set of requests at 502. And I'm thinking that with the Grok API key limits, if you start making your first request within your limit cap at 501, and let's say your last request, request 30, is made at 501 in 59 seconds, you're gonna have to wait till after a minute from your last request. And if this is the case, then what's gonna happen is that Crew AI is gonna start making requests to the API before your rate limit within Grok has reset. That's just an assumption I'm making, because keep in mind what ended up working for me was just leaving the max iterations at 10 for this particular crew. And the last thing I wanted to mention was that keep in mind that there's also a token limit that you can make per minute per set of requests that you send. And remember that when you're using a large language model, a lot of the processing that occurs is happening with all the text that is sent to it. So it's gonna include text like your goal, your backstory, and also remember you have your task description, you have your expected output. Now I tend to write really long sets of expected outputs for my crews. In previous projects, I haven't been able to use the Grok API period just because of how lengthy the expected outputs were. For this project as well, I spent some time making my expected outputs a little bit shorter. So that combined with the max iteration changes, I was able to get more consistent performance when using the Grok API key. I've been getting a lot of requests about posting more guides and tutorials using the Grok API key. And honestly, I had tried it before, but this particular problem was one of the reasons why I was kind of avoiding it more or less. And I've been working on those tutorials that I do plan on posting so in the future. But before I posted those, I just want to share these findings with you guys because on some of the one-on-one -on -one calls that I've had with some of you, this has also been a recurring problem that has been giving you quite a bit of a headache on the crews that you've been building. I really want to thank you guys for the positive feedback that you've been sharing with me. Honestly, seeing how much value you've been getting out of this video is really what drives me to keep making this kind of content, especially during the one-on-ones. I think that's where the collaboration really comes to fruition. If you're having some trouble or would like some input from me for your crew AI project, whether it's a personal project or it's a project for your business, I do have a link in the description where you can book a one-on-one -on -one video call with me for free. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.